And it's housing issues, the focus in two capital region cities tonight, specifically the safety inside two apartment complexes, Parkview in Albany, Harbor Point Gardens in Troy, both of which have seen tenants displaced for weeks now. News 10 ABC's James LaFuente was at the follow up meeting tonight for Parkview residents, Albany city leaders and the management company for the building. Back in February, when we reported on the burst pipes that displaced tenants at the Parkview Apartments, we got a number of complaints into our newsroom of poor living conditions at the complex. Thursday night, the CRM management company responsible for Parkview Apartments telling the committee and residents they have cut ties with the current owner. We have part ways with ownership and the apartment building at 400 Hudson is the home for many seniors and folks with disabilities who say they have been dealing with a rash of problems for quite some time now. Everything from mold to mice to basic quality of living concerns. The situation is untenable. I don't know who's to blame. I can point my finger a lot of places. After the third month I've lived in there, I have had a mice and growing problem. Rick LaJoy, the director of the Department of Buildings and Regulatory Compliance, was at tonight's meeting attesting to some of the building's repairs. Folks that I've been interacting with have been nothing but um, responsive in trying to solve the issues. In the past nine months, the owner has put in over $250,000 Yet tenants are not convinced the repairs are enough, saying that not much has been corrected by current management. One of my constituents and I had a meeting with the owner of the building this week or last week, and you know, I don't think it went very well because everything we said, she argued. The Housing and Community Development Committee says the next step is a more hands-on approach, and that they will be taking a field trip to the property. News 10 will continue to follow this developing story and bring you those updates both on air and online at news10.com. Reporting in Albany, James De La Fuente, News 10, ABC.